Managing type style in Adobe XD can be done using the Assets panel to save character style formatting. Let's start out by adding some text examples to our design system, then save the formatting so it's easy for others to use it as well, make edits globally, and easily see where that formatting is applied. With the text tool selected, click and type to add something like a heading. This is called point type. It won't wrap if you keep typing, it'll just keep going. Now unfortunately I can't see the text because it's actually white, so let's change that. Press the escape key to select the text object. In XD, as we add our text, we can modify the formatting in the Property Inspector, including accessing any previously activated Adobe fonts. I'll change the formatting a little here. Now for some paragraph text, you can define an area for your text by dragging, like this. This is called Area Type. You can then type in some text, press the Escape key, and change the formatting. Okay, with the text formatted, to preserve that formatting and save it in the design system for easy application later, you can save it in the Assets panel. With the Select tool selected, drag across both of these to select them. If you select multiple text boxes or even whole artboards, you can create multiple character styles at one time. So with the Assets panel showing, click the plus icon next to Character Styles here in the Assets panel, and you've got two new styles. Now as you build your library of text styles representing the various parts of your design system, you can name them, maybe to give context, and even drag to arrange them, maybe according to usage type. To rename your styles, make sure that List View is showing up here. Click somewhere to deselect, then you can right-click a style name and rename it. This can also make it easier for others to understand their intended use. To apply character styles to your text, select the text tool and make some text. Press the Escape key, click the character style name in the Assets panel to apply it. XD links up every text box with that same style in the document, so you don't have to select each one and click on the character style. As you work to build a product, for instance, using the available character styles in your design system, you can also see where they're being applied in the entire document. If you right-click on a style and choose Highlight on Canvas, you can see everywhere it's applied. If you need to edit a character style, you can select a style, right-click, and choose Edit. You then have access to the same formatting options as in the Property Inspector and you can easily update all assets within the design system that is currently using that style. Feel free to create more type scales and usage examples, and practice creating a few more character styles like you see here. And then move on to creating and saving your brand colors.